Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and a lot of you guys may know me as the Pokemon veteran, and I am to some extent having played this game for 9 years. But there's one huge difference between me and other veteran players. I'm broke as fuck. Or at least broke in comparison to other veterans who made millions or even billions of Pokemon selling off old vanities. You see, I grew up playing Pokemon and a large amount of my playtime was when I was around 14 to 16 years old. So it's safe to say I made many, many, many financial mistakes. Today's story is about a mistake so devastating that I quit the game for many years because of it. Now before I jump into the story, I did want to quickly say that if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Today's story is about how I lost over 1500 US dollars worth of Pokeyen on the most trash vanity in the entire game. Today's story is about the Holly hair clip. Now you might be saying, wow, that vanity is terrible. It barely changes anything or affects the way your character looks in any meaningful way. And you're 100% correct. And that's exactly what everyone was spamming in global chat back when this item was released in the 2015 Christmas event. Everyone was echoing the same sentiment, Holly hair clip bad, candy cane good. You see the candy cane was the actually sought after item in this event, being a cool and noticeable backslot item which at the time there weren't many of in the game, and it quickly became a symbol of wealth. Now if you're not familiar with Pokemon holiday events, they usually work off of loot boxes. You play a certain PVM event, for the Christmas it's similar to a strategic dungeon run type minigame, and then depending on how many trainers you defeat, you're rewarded with these loot boxes, or Xmas presents to be specific for the Christmas event. Events are also usually the best money maker in game because of this. Everyone's after those new hot vanity items, and the box prices are tied to how desired the items are, and how many people are opening those boxes for that chase item. Now 2015 Petrowski spent all winter break grinding this event until it was the last day or two and I had accumulated around 4 mil Pokeon from the event plus 3 million Pokeon that I had before the event that I spent years getting from Everstone farming and selling competitive Pokemon. Leaving me with a whopping 7 million Pokeon to my name, which was a decent cash tech at the time and the most amount of Pokeon I had had in my Pokemon career by far up until that point. And I think at some point, after all that hard work, after all that grinding, something in my little 2015 Petrowski brain snapped and said, Go for the candy cane. And so I did. I dumped everything I had spent that week and years grinding for to take a shot at the candy cane. The candy cane was around 15 mil at the time, so my thought process was, if I open 7 million Pokeyen worth of presents, I have to get one candy cane, right? Seeing how many people were being were pulling them in team chat and in global chat, it only made sense. And this is just smart gambling, right? Oh, how naive I was. I start ravaging through Xmas presents left and right. Rare candy here, proteins there. Oh, a holly hair clip. It's only 20k at the time, but hey, still a vanity. That's a good sign, right? More presents, super potions, ultra balls, golden nuggets. Oh, a another holly hair clip. Okay, the candy cane must be nearby. I opened all 7 mil worth of presents and was left with only 3 holly hair clips as the vanities I opened. A whopping 60k in value. But hey, I had other items to sell off like those tasty proteins and gold nuggets. I start selling off those items to fuel my opening spree and even sell some of my competitive Pokemon to fund this tragedy in the making. After selling off everything I had spent years earning, I was left with around 2 million Pokeyen, and I hesitated for a second before dumping it all into presents, but then I saw some of those other presents selling quickly, and the panic fully set in. All or nothing. Candy cane, or I'm left with nothing. I clicked buy on another stack of presents, opened them all in what felt like 5 minutes, and was left with literally nothing from this batch. No vanities, mostly shitty potions, worth nothing. I was utterly broken and defeated. All of my Pokemon funds, my legacy, gone in an hour. All I had left were three shitty Holly hair clips. I logged out, devastated, and didn't log back in for two years. 
But, as we all know, the Pokemon itch returned one day, and no game is like it. I can't just go back to playing Nintendo Pokemon games. They aren't even real Pokemon to me at this point. Pokemon is just better, and it's the only game that can scratch my Pokemon itch. I log in, I greet old friends, I glance over the Pokemon left in my boxes, look at my measly 100k Pokemon stack. Should I rebuild? Could I rebuild? I don't even know how to make Poke Yen anymore in this new and fresh 2017 Pokemon. After farming Everstones for a bit, I quickly remember how painfully slow farming money was in this game. I get bored and go back to just relishing over the past. I look over my Pokemon many times, sell some stuff that I can bring myself to part with, remember my bag, my items, my vanities. Are any of them valuable nowadays? Maybe I have some hidden gems in there. After price checking everything, I come to find that those three Holly hair clips, those damn hair clips that reminded me of losing everything and quitting the game, the worst vanity in the entire game, had gone from 20k up to around 100k a piece. 100k a piece for this trash? I'm rich, I squeal. Easiest money of my life. They sold in a matter of a few days on the GTL, and then I essentially played for two weeks and quit once again. And then up until around 2021, I started actively playing again. And that essentially brings us to modern day. For those who don't know, or for those who are waiting for that zinger, here it is. Currently, as of recording, the cheapest Holly hair clip on the GTL is priced at around 180 million Pokien. That shitty vanity that I had three of, that I sold for a hundred K a piece happily would have now sold for an astronomical 540 million Pokemon at $3 per million, which is about what you'll get when buying and selling 1000 RP vouchers from the gift shop. It's equivalent to losing around 1620 US dollars in potential profit. All right, now that does wrap up our story, but I did want to make a quick note that I don't feel bad about selling the Holly hair clip early, and I was in no way entitled to that money, nor did I do anything to earn it. I just thought it was a bit of a funny coincidence, and I thought it made for a good story. So hopefully you and guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future Poke MMO content. You can also join my Discord linked down below to ask for more embarrassing Poke MMO stories, or if you want to go above and beyond, and support the channel, you can become a YouTube member for 5 bucks a month, drop a Twitch sub or a Twitch Prime over on my Twitch, check out my Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo, which are all linked below. To those who do go above and beyond and give to the channel financially, you allow me to make videos like this one. So, thank you so much, and I'm stupidly lucky to be able to wake up every day and make videos about a niche Pokemon fan-made game. But anyways, have a good one. I'll see you guys later, hopefully next video. Peace and love from Petrowski. Yo, what's up? My name's Petrowski. First of all, thank you guys so much for watching until the end of the video, and I want to give a huge and quick thank you to all of those who go above and beyond and support my channel. You guys literally allow me to live my dream, so thank you so much, and I hope it's worth it. Have a great day.